Oh, hey, back at it today with another closet clean out. This is actually from December, but I'm just getting back into the swing of things. So you're getting it in 2021. I personally love cleaning out my life. And I know you guys love these too, because you get inspiration from them, but buying organizational stuff can get real pricey real quick. So I have a little hot tip for you guys on how we can all save some money this year. And this portion of the video is sponsored by Capital One Shopping. I've been using the Capital One Shopping browser extension over the last two months or so to save on my holiday shopping, as well as getting new organizational goodies. So I'm super pumped to show you this because who doesn't love to save money? So Capital One Shopping does the heavy lifting for you to help ensure that you're getting the best available deal while you're shopping online. And I mean, it pretty much does it all. It automatically tells me if there's a better price available from major retailers when I'm shopping on Amazon and Target. And a helpful little window will pop up to let you know where a better price is if there is one available. Yes, please. It also finds and tests coupon codes for you when you click try codes at checkout. You can also earn Capital One Shopping credits across a lot of retailer sites. Just click activate when it pops up while you're shopping shopping and you'll actually get a percentage of your cart total, which you can then redeem for gift cards. I mean, hello, we love. And lastly, Capital One Shopping lets you know if prices drop on any of the products you're interested in and have added to your watch list. And that way you won't miss a killer deal. Capital One Shopping is completely free for everyone. It's not gonna show ads or slow down your shopping experience. I have been telling all of my friends to install it. So I will link the browser extension down in the description box below so that you can save too, whether it be on new hangers, drawer organizers, new clothes. I'm not judging. But now it is time to declutter, so let's just do this. Can we just talk about how perfect this new lens situation is for my closet clean out? Now you can actually see so much more. It's the little things that get me excited. Again, I can't touch my floor because this apartment and storage just they don't mix. I'm gonna start off by taking everything out of my floor because if you've watched my past clean out videos, I like to just throw things on the floor as I go through them into the maybe or no pile. Then I will take the big pile out of here and then assess everything. So gotta get everything off my floor first. Sounds like a good time to me. I'm usually good at doing my laundry. For some reason, I'm just <laughs> I'm a little behind this week. Just excuse me. Do most people keep their laundry in their bathroom? Maybe I should be moving that. You don't keep a donut tin in your closet? Can't relate. Okay, this is exciting. I have giveaway things. Maybe there's one in this video. I don't know. You'll just have to wait and see. Taxes. Not kidding. This is where I've been keeping all of my jewelry for the past like year. Need some storage. That's what I need. That's what I need. These are my eyeballs. <laughs> Right, looking good. On to the fun part. As always, I'm gonna go through every single piece of clothing once, do my first run through, and then from there I go through it again, and sometimes a third time just to see if there's any other pieces that I can pull that I didn't want to get rid of at first. Like once you get in that groove, in that you know motion of getting rid of things, it gets like the adrenaline starts pumping. It gets really addicting and really fun, and you just want to get rid of everything. My rules typically when getting rid of stuff are to get rid of things that I haven't worn in the past like six months months or at least the season. But obviously those typical rules don't really apply this time around because we've been in a pandemic. Still being realistic with myself, I don't have any hangers. And that is like my foolproof way to know I have too many clothes. I'm procrastinating. Hardest part is always starting. I wore this for Thanksgiving last year and I liked it, but I also felt like a mom. Jennifer would love this cardigan, but I don't know if it's necessarily like a me cardigan, but I need to try this on again. I haven't worn this in so long, but it's like, it's so hard to get rid of. It has that varsity vibe to it. And I used to wear this all the time. So I have like more memories attached to it than anything. <sighs> That is, that is, that's hard. I have a lot of maybes right now that I need to like try on. It always helps to try it on and just like make sure you actually want to keep something because so many times you think you want to keep it and then you try it on and you don't feel like a boss ass bitch. We say no. Love me a shoulder pad tank top moment, but these ones literally, are you kidding? It's like a swimsuit insert, not the vibe. I like how I have deodorant marks on all of my black tops. I should probably just wash all of them at this point, but is that gonna happen? You tell me. Can't remember if this is one of those tops that I go through and like hesitate on every single clean out, but I never reach for it. So I need to try that on. Sad. Another one that I just don't really reach for, or I haven't at least like all year. Suspicious. Why don't I wear this? Is it because it's a V-neck? I feel like I've been only into like high neck tops this year. Try her on. Okay, this is what I mean. This is how a padded shoulder tank should look. Okay, compared to the other one, got a nice built-in moment. Just the perfect amount of squish. 
think I wore this in Hawaii for our five year. I cannot get enough of a puff sleeve. I need to try this on though, because I don't know if I realistically am gonna wear this. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hesitating. It's always so hard for me to get rid of this blazer because I it's like it makes you feel so powerful and like such a boss, but I never have anywhere to wear this. I have a black blazer and a white blazer moment that I feel like if I was going out or something, like a fun dinner with friends, I would gravitate towards those colors versus like a bright pink. I'm gonna be so sad if I get rid of that. Jeez, okay, this is fun. I wish I had somewhere to wear this lately. <laughs> I have a lot of things to try on. Oh my god. Okay. I'll Goodbye. This was like my go-to for anything. I feel like I just have moved on from this phase. Goodbye, old friends. Another one that I would wear all the time. I lived in this sweater, but these days I feel like I would opt for this one. It's a little bit softer. I like how I just have like a strap. <laughs> Definitely goes with this jacket. One of my favorite parts about doing these closet cleanouts is I always find pieces that I completely forgot I had because I just gravitate towards like the same few things or like the newer pieces that I get. It's like shopping in my own closet. So I recommend. Woo, I have so many t-shirts. I mentioned this in a recent vlog, but thinking about getting a dresser for my office so that I actually can like put my t-shirts and leggings instead of having to stuff them up here. This is a top that I feel like I haven't worn in a really long time. So goodbye. I have a lot of really similar like champagne painy colored satin tanks. <laughs> so I'm gonna try all these on and figure out which one or two I should keep. So I know I should not be hanging these. I'm like cringing with you, but you have nowhere to go. I'm gonna try this on. By the way, these sweaters from Urban Outfitters are like my favorite. Loved this sweater when I saw it online, but I didn't realize it had sparkles. I don't know if you can see that. All I seem to do, this boy has got me crazy. Yeah, you got me stressed. Look at me, I'm getting rid of stuff. Making progress. Another example of a good padded top. And another example of a bad padded top. You gotta go. First run through of my tops are complete. This little section, I have my hanging pants. So anything pretty much that's not jeans, I have some skirts and some pants that I feel like I don't wanna fold, so they chill here. You know what? I feel like I am over this, not a boho queen. I just can't pull this off. I don't think I'm a skirt person. I think I need to finally let this go. This was like the it skirt. I think in like 2018, everybody and their mother on Instagram had this skirt. It looked so good on everybody. And I thought this was like finally the skirt to make me a skirt wearer. It was gonna happen for me. Um, It didn't. And you can see that by the tag still being on here. Two years later, almost three. So I think it's time to part ways. Same goes with short skirts. Sayonara. Can't wear you. Faux leather pantaloons onto one. It's a little heavy, but we're gonna make her work for the moment. I don't know if you noticed, but I have less room than I normally have had in the past because I ended up putting this drawer situation, which I don't know if my beauty clean out video is up. I filmed that in August, but because this is in here and I have like my piano over here, instead of just using all of this rack space, I have less space for my dresses. So it's more cramped over here. Priorities, Caitlin. Let's start. You know what? I love this, but it has a stain that I cannot get out of it. So I really don't know what to do with this. This was fun for like a minute. I don't know if any of you do this, but I go through like girly spurts. Overall, I'm just not that kind of person. So it's just a no for me, dog. I love the structure of this dress and the material is so nice. Everything about this is just perfection. It's just like a tad bit too long on me. I'm so particular on the length of my dresses. Like if they're just like a, a hair too long, I will never wear it. So I need to try this on again because I'm pretty sure that was the case with this, but it's so flattering. So if I don't keep this, it's going on my Poshmark and someone needs to snap it up. Realistically, I just, I feel like I'm not gonna wear this for a long time. I wore this to the desert, like Joshua Tree, I think last year. I wore this to Pioneer Town and it was just, it was a moment. I love this. I wore this to Coachella. <laughs> and this one I wore in France. I need to try this one on again. So I'm gonna have another door. I don't need a hint. 
gosh, I don't remember when the last time I wore this and it's so cute. I felt like it might've been a little bit too tight. Figure that out. Oh yeah, no. Definitely have not worn this to try on this jumpsuit. I got a lot of things to try on. <laughs> what, when did I get this? That is not it. I don't know what I was thinking. Fun fact, I wore this to a party and a cheetah girl showed up wearing the same one. We had a matching moment. For some reason, I thought this would be like a fun festival outfit. Um, in theory, I don't know. What would I wear under this? Why did I have this dress on two hangers? Hmm go through my belts later because I don't feel like it. Okay, at this point, I've gone through everything once that's on my hangers. I have not tackled the bins or the pantaloons, but I'm gonna take everything off of my floor right now and separate it into a for sure get rid of pile. And then I'm gonna try on everything. I still have a lot of stuff on hangers that are like maybes. So it begins. Hooray. Now I gotta go through and try on literally all of these pieces that I don't know if I wanna keep or not. But you gotta make a mundane task kind of fun. Bump on some music. Just gonna pump it out as fast as I possibly can. Make a decision. It's gonna be that gut reaction when you do this. So do I feel amazing? No, goodbye. Off we go. You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone. You're the only love that I've ever known. Turn into a flower that never grows I was hiding like the moon, like that never shows I should've told you that I loved you One more time, one more time, one more time I should've told you that I loved you One more time, one more time, one more time I should've told you that I loved you every night Oh, that's on my mind Okay, it's been a few days since the last check-in. So far, the only progress that I made was sorting the things that I went through into a couple different donation bags. That's about it. <laughs> also still going through my laundry, so fun stuff. But so far I have a lot of hangers available, so very excited about that. I need to go through my workout stuff because I feel like I gravitate towards the same few sets, even though the last time that I did this clean out, I separated it into two different bins, one of stuff that I wear most often, and then things that I don't touch as much. Much. So why do I have things I don't touch as much? I feel like I should only be wearing the things that I love, right? That was the mood, right? This is a bin of stuff that last time I said were the ones that I wore the most. So let's see if that's accurate. I honestly, see the problem is I just grab like whatever's on top and I'll just wear that. Everlane leggings are so good. Cute, oh no, yeah, I forgot how cute these things were. <laughs> a hat, I don't wear hats. I've had these Lulu sports bras since late high school, maybe freshman year of college. They're super comfortable, but I don't really, like this one really needs to go. It's, it's so stained. This top. I feel like I don't wear nearly enough. Tank, I don't wear enough. I'm gonna get rid of that. This sports bra doesn't fit me as well as it should. I think I got, yeah, I got a medium. I should have gotten a small. Poshmark, I might have matching pants to that. I'm gonna get rid of this one too, because this one was also a little bit big. Don't wear this much. Cool, all right, well, I got rid of some stuff. Honestly, compared to when we started though, it's pretty good. All right, another bin that's overflowing with things that I do not need, like this sweater or hoodie. I'm gonna get rid of these. These are the matching leggings to that top. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these ones as well, just so that someone can have them in a, in a set. You know what? I need to get rid of these ones as well. These are one of those leggings that I've had since high school. When's the last time I've worn them? Literally years. Another adorable set that someone needs to snatch up. I got rid of pretty much like everything in this bin. I have so many cute workout sets that I'm getting rid of. Did not expect this pile to be so huge, but I'm very proud of myself. I'm actually going to move this stuff into the other bin because I have room in that one and then free up a bin. Ta-da! <sighs> All right, this bin is like, I think sweatshirts that I haven't touched in a while. Can you even get rid of sorority stuff? I don't know, I'm doing it. Didn't wear it this Christmas, so I guess she's a goner. Oh yeah, this one is kind of like my winter ski stuff. Ollie has clothes in here too that I feel like he's never gonna wear, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. All right, got a little bit of room available. I thought now would be a good time to go through my little cubby drawer system. I'm actually gonna start with the bottom two cubbies because this is where I either put my sweatshirts, loungewear, or else I'll put my shorts if it's like the summer months. So right now it's like my sweaters, loungewear and stuff. 
stuff. So I have some stuff like stuffed in the back of this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I wore this at the beginning of 2020 a lot. I haven't reached for this in a while. It's just so cute because it's like a little crop. This reminds me like it's very that's loaded vibes, you know? Shameless self promo. Sarah and I's new podcast. Go check it out. Let someone else thrive in this, okay? Another top I forgot I had. Just to uh, clarify, anything I post on Poshmark or donate goes through the wash first. Well, I got one no for sure. <laughs> got a couple maybes. Oh, this is the matching top to my sweatpants. I don't know about that top. I feel like this is another set I could get rid of, but I'm gonna wash that first. Okay, made a little progress. Okay, I ended up putting all of my matching sets in one cubby, at least the ones that are clean. So TBD on <laughs> if it'll be overflowing soon. That way I know if I'm in the mood for a matching set, I got it all right here. This one, I just have my sweatshirts and a couple sweaters. I need to grab a couple that are on my clothing rack in there because I have a lot of sweaters just piling up over there. But I threw in the rest of my like thinner sweatshirts that I wanted to keep in this bin since I still had some room. Sweaters just take up so much room. I feel like my problem is I just don't have enough storage in my apartment. Like I'm just not utilizing my space correctly. There's no room in this thing. Oh, this needs to be deeper. That's as good as it's gonna get. This cubby situation is where I keep all of my blue denim very much overflowing. And uh, you know that I always have have trouble getting rid of any jeans. I just don't really have the motivation to try these all on right now. I feel like I want all of these still. Don't judge me, but I'm keeping all of these. <laughs> this is where I keep all of my non-blue denim. There's one pair of a gold A's that I think I can get rid of, but I don't remember which one. I think it was this one that I thought was gonna be a little bit cuter than it was on me. I guess now I'm gonna go through my shoes. I have a couple in mind that I could get rid of. Whoa, I forgot about these. These are fun. Wow, collecting dust much. Definitely need to keep those. I think I'm going to get rid of these ones actually because they are navy-ish blue. If I were given the option, I would pick the black. I need to finally just like get rid of these shoes. Goodbye. What about the black ones? Should I get rid of the black ones too? I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't know if I'm ready for that stuff. This doesn't even feel like my style, but I keep them because they were so comfortable. But you know what? If I were to wear something like I'm going to go for something like this or my docks. Oh my gosh, this is Big day, wow. Finally getting rid of those. Actually, pretty proud of myself because I got rid of a lot of shoes. Like, a lot of shoes. <laughs> Didn't expect that, but here we are. I had like five pairs of shoes underneath my clothing rack over there. Now I just have two. And then for the rest of everything, I just organized my shoes again. So look at that. It makes so much more sense now. I've got my booties on these two racks, my heels on this one, and then my sandals underneath here, plus like two straggler shoes over there. And on this side, I have my black boots. I know I need to give it a dusting. Got my sneakers on this one. And then underneath, I have like my hiking boots and my tennis shoes, like sneakers and stuff like that. So yay. Ah, this looks good. So much more organized. I mean, I know I need to clean that at some point, but like today is not the day. As far as what's left, I still have this bin that's completely empty. So I'm probably gonna end up putting some of my sweatshirts shirts and things like I have a lot of things still in the laundry and I still need to go through like a couple of these are electronics I've already gone through them in past clean out just need to go through this one I think I put some Poshmark stuff up there a couple months ago let's see what uh let's see what we got up there oh yeah I have a lot of my shorts up here since not short season I have two of the same short just different sizes I should probably <laughs> I wear this one more so I guess I'll just get rid of that size I have a two-piece set which I don't wear because the shorts are a little bit too tight on me so I'll donate that <gasps> This is where my Britney shirt went. I was looking for this for Britney night. Could not find this anywhere. So it's like workout clothes. Wow, things that I have not touched clearly in forever. Okay, this is really cute, but clearly does not deserve to stay. This needs to get washed and Poshmark. Now that I got pretty much my closet done, snaps. Wanted to give a little peek into my drawer that's in my bedroom because I have like my sweats in the bottom drawer and I feel like, I don't feel like, I know it's um, overflowing again. Again, so let's see if I can get rid of anything. Please ignore the mess. We are in the middle of packing. Let's see what we have in here, shall we? <laughs> Sweats, yes, yes, yes. Oh, you know what? I never wear this. Let's get rid of that. Oh, these are the matching shorts to the top that I got rid of. So I'm just gonna get rid of those too because I never wear those. Oh my gosh, these are pilling so... Do you see all of those pills? Yuck, that's a no for me. It's the pilling for me. <laughs> my sorority top that I never wear, but I don't know what to do with it. Got some room in here now. Got rid of some stuff. The last 
space for me to tackle are my coats. I feel like I can definitely get rid of some. I need to try this one on. I can't tell if it's something that I'm actually gonna wear or not. This one, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Why did I wear this in Miami? It was so hot. I think I need to finally retire the Teddy coat. She's been worn so much, but it's time. I don't think I need three leopard print jackets, even though they are all very different, okay? I think this one needs to go. This one too, I have not worn in so long and do not see myself wearing. It's kind of easy for me to weed out coats right now because when you live in Los Angeles, you don't have a need for too many coats. I feel like I can get rid of this leather jacket now that I have so many others. That was my first one I ever got though. Oh my gosh, memories. When I was in Portland, I was feeling grungy. I don't know, I'm gonna try this on again. <laughs> I'm gonna also try on this one and see if I can get rid of that one so that I only have one leopard coat. I feel like that would be way more reasonable. All right, I'm gonna go try these on. Okay, these are for sure the no-go jackets that are going to all be Poshmarked because they're in great condition. Stay tuned for these goodies. Welcome to my closet. Welcome to my closet, my closet. What am I doing? Okay, I'm pretty impressed with the progress made. I like what we're doing here. Everything is organized to my liking right now. I've got just my robes right here, a couple of coats, and then we just fade from black to gray to whatever kind of flows in my mind. Over here, we got my dresses. Like I said, we have less room this time around because I have have this little situation happening and this is a corner where I keep like my studio light and my tripods some fun equipment youtuber thing but I still feel like I got rid of a good amount of stuff over here so that it's not so jammed like before I feel like I just could not move anything and it was ridiculous now I feel just like so much more sane it's so clean in here I'm so happy I feel like I'm most excited about where my shoes are at this thing let's just include this in the clean out because this is the most impractical thing I've ever purchased ever Everything falls off and it's so annoying. Or maybe I just need to take the jewelry off. I'll probably still keep like the silhouette because that's kind of fun. This little cubby thing is where I keep all of my cords and like camera stuff. Got my swimsuits. I actually didn't go through my swimsuits this time because I didn't want to. I don't know. My workout stuff, we were able to put in one bin versus two. This one is still completely empty. So very excited about that. Um, that never happens. <laughs> and then this one is like sweatshirts and stuff. So I think I'm gonna end up putting more sweatshirts and loungewear in here once I do all my laundry because like I said for the millionth time this video I've got a lot of laundry to do. Also, I really like how all of my matching sets are gonna be right here I feel like that just makes more sense in my head. I can see my floor. <laughs> I can see clearly now my shit is gone Remix! So this is the pile situation right now So I have purple post-its if it is posh and then the hot pink is for donate So I have that one that one I'm trying to use like my tote bags that I get sent for random things on the donate just because I feel like then they can also reuse those. On top of this situation, I'm probably gonna have about two to three more garbage bags full of stuff for Poshmark once everything is out of the wash. And last but not least, this is the final hanger situation. I had absolutely zero hangers. So happy with this turnout, ladies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below if this inspired you to go through your stuff that no longer serve you or make you feel incredible. I'm also gonna list my favorite places to donate things to including the beauty best foundation which i donate all of my like unused unopened beauty products to i love what they do i feel relieved to get rid of things like it feels good once you you know actually drop them off and know that someone else is going to be able to enjoy these items but i also do kind of feel like a bit sad that i have so much stuff to begin with you don't even realize it like it just it just adds up something i am glad that i have kept doing since my first closet clean out is i've stopped buying or even requesting items from brands that I only see as like a vision for a photo. Like I used to do that, like just getting an outfit for one specific photo and then I knew I wasn't gonna wear that again, which is horrible. So this year I really focused on comfy clothes, basics. If you watch any of my hauls from this year, it's pretty much all like active wear, basics, things that like I actually wore and get a lot of use out of, but it is still like a lot. I don't know, like I, I guess it's just kind of hard for me to know what to do. That's why I really like Poshmark um, as an option for everybody, not just bloggers and stuff, but any of those apps are just such a great option. I love shopping on Poshmark. There's so many great deals. I don't really know what the answer is. I'm honestly just thinking out loud here, but I did want to end it on that note, just kind of chit-chatting what's going on in my head because as good as it feels to clean my closet every single quarter, I am aware that it is 
a lot. But on that note, I hope you guys are excited for all of the new stuff to come on my Poshmark very soon. If there's anything specific that you want to see that you saw me get rid of, let me know. But other than that, I hope you guys clean out your closets and have a fantastic day. And I will see you in my next one.